Yeah, we've been doing, I had a pretty good week last week and hit another 200 kilometer week. And this week a little bit of a reduction in the Ks and just gonna try to hit the sessions a bit uh, harder and yeah. yeah, a big one on Sunday. And yeah, it's gotten really windy in Melbourne or yeah. across Victoria. Um, yeah. And so we've been battling a bit of the wind, which yeah. is not great for little frames, but um, yeah, looks pretty good on the bike. I can try to <laughs> try to hit sit in there. Yeah, nice. Yeah, but looking forward to the trip. Um, yeah, we sort of go on trips like that, Matt, and it's a bit of a holiday from work. So. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So, so for those that don't know, Lisa will never say it, but she, you work, you work full time? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So 223 in Osaka, of which I was um, in the same race. And I must say, sorry, I'm darting around between topics here, but I remember speaking to you before Osaka and you said that you sort of trialed out, tested, whatever you want to call it, with some 200k plus weeks and you said you responded pretty well. Um, I guess my question is, how much of a difference has this block been? Has there been a longer period of time at 200 plus, about the same, or? Because uh, that race you were 223.00, and it was not the easiest last 10k. Yeah, few, yeah, we had few the, hills. a few hills and a bit of wind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we probably touched on about three weeks at 200k's, and it was fortunate that we had Christmas holidays, and um, so we had a bit of time off work then. Yeah. Uh, this time we've been working full time right through, and so it's been a little bit harder to get the same recovery, but we've been able to hit five of those weeks. Five, okay. Yeah, so in all of my career, I haven't got anywhere near that kind of training, wow. um, just because, you know, difference in footwear back then and working, and I had like years of stresses in the TBL when I was a junior, so we always took it pretty cautiously. Right. Um, yeah, but now that I'm older and I've been able to handle a lot more, it's been good the last sort of year and a bit to uplift everything and then just see where we land. Yeah, you sure. Know, you don't know how long you, sounds a bit morbid, but you'd never know how long you've got yeah. in, in uh, top form. So yeah, like, yeah. why not take some risks? But you're still, you're still, still on the rise? Yeah, still trying, faster. trying. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully yeah. a bit quicker in Valencia, we'll Hopefully, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone goes from marathon to marathon to try and run a personal best. And yeah. So I'm hoping a little bit of Valencia magic will give yeah. me another uplift. I really do think Valencia, I mean Osaka is not a, it's definitely not a slow course, but it's, I think Valencia is 45 seconds to a minute, maybe quicker, yeah. just because of the dead flat last or the whole way. Um, so yeah, that'll be good, so hoping for good weather. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how many turns or something, Osaka had quite a lot of U-turns. Yeah, it had five or six, I think, complete yeah. U-turns, which yeah. are not so bad if you're feeling good in the early stages, but in the, at the end, they got, got yeah. kind of annoying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it does slow you down and you've got to recalibrate the pace when you're going on the yeah. UEs. But yeah, I mean, Osaka was such a fun trip. Yeah. And I think that's part of it too. Like when you make it less about the performance and more about the experience yeah. and really enjoy the, the week, yeah. you go into it with a positive mindset. So yeah. we're really, yeah, really looking forward to seeing things. Nice. So we should. Yeah. So make what are we doing today? Uh, We've got three and a half weeks now, yeah. roughly. Yeah. So pretty. Pretty key sort of next few weeks. Yeah, so yeah. 1600s today. Uh, we usually do them on the track on a Tuesday night, but with the public holiday yesterday, uh, we're off the track and um, we'll just use our normal path on Chandler Highway, which nice. is, um, yeah, near the guide dogs. And it's pretty quiet on this path. We usually get to see the dogs getting walked yeah. um, from the guide dogs up there, and, and there's not as much traffic sometimes going down to Richmond Boulevard. It's a bit uh, choppy with bikes and everything, so this way it's a bit quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, um, so Dick Telford is prescribing your program at the moment. Yep. So has he put any sort of pace or any effort or any heart rate or anything like that on this workout? No, he just wants to sort of tap back into the um, 10k speed on this one. Yep. It's a little bit undulating in one section, so that usually sort of gives you a bit of a pinch, which is not a bad thing for you know when it gets hard. You Sort of practicing that, but the track we were all trying to go under uh, 508s last week and managed to run them in 504s on the track, so I won't quite run that pace today because it's just a little bit different. Um, but we'll just go with the flow and see yep. what it comes out as, as cool. long as it's, there's the effort there. Yep. Yeah. Asics athlete, precision fuel and hydration athlete, what's yes. the plan of utilizing both of these two yeah. supporters today? Uh, so I usually take a gel, some gels on my longer runs, but um, because it's warm today, I just put the carb formula in my bottle and yep. I'm 
not going to worry about gel because it's so short. I don't really need a gel for the whole for that sort of session. Yeah. But yeah, usually gels and um, and in the morning I usually take some electrolytes yeah. as prescribed by the nutrition team there. Yeah. So followed that for World Champs and that seemed to work pretty well. I didn't blow up or see stars at the end of the <laughs> at the end of the World Champs hot weather marathon. So yeah, you were 14? I think that was 16th. 16th, 16th. Yeah, 14th. Yeah. Nice, yeah. yeah. 14th, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. much of a much I think I've told a few people 14th, but yeah. I was close. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. so you yeah, know, that was a good experience and a good prep yeah. good to try out a few different things in that race because Paris will be really hot as well. So, yeah, that was a really good rest of the opportunity. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what are the races? Net speed? Fine. Yeah, these yep. are actually an older model, okay. um, but I quite like these, so they're sort of still alive. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these yeah. ones are still alive. So I, uh, but I'll have a red pair on for the race. Okay. Yeah. I've been using the not obviously not for re um, training hard, but the Nova Blast. I think it's the older edition, the number three. Yeah. I was looking for the Super Blast because I've used them before and I love them, yeah. but I couldn't find them anywhere. So I went with these and they've been really good. Yeah. Uh, these yeah. have been a game changer, Nova Blast. Yeah. I love them. Lock loves the Super Blast as well, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I like to, to mix them up between the two because I find the Super Blasts are a bit softer, and yeah, whereas they, they're not as they're not quite as soft as the Super Blast, so yeah. I don't like doing any really like sudden movements in shoes, like yeah. because of my injury history and because of all the work I've put in. Yeah. Sort of don't want to do something that's a drastic change and then yeah, yeah. end up wasting all these hours of training. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so should be good. Cool. I've got one more question for you. I'm going to loop back to the start of the conversation. How do you work full time and do 200k a week? <laughs> and have you also yeah, hump? With uh, how is like one extreme someone, difficulty? Yeah, I had a question come in, <laughs> like broad question, but how does that work? Yeah, so <laughs> uh, having parents, so anyone that has a child, whether you're a runner or not, make sure you live near your parents. That is my number one tip for survival, nice. <laughs> uh, no matter what your hobby. Uh, so mum and dad are really amazing and help with Pete all the time. So whenever we need to, if, we need, if there's going to be like a crazy weather change in the afternoon and we've got a session planned after work, then we might have to switch it to the morning. So mum will just be like down tools and go take Pete to school and things like that. Um, we tend to one day a week block out our lunchtime um, if we can and you know do a session one lunchtime if it's a really important one uh we ran we run at six and i run at six in the morning um, with a mate our school dad as well to get some of the easy plays done and then train again at six at night and lock usually the runs with me or ride the bike yeah um back in the day when we were in the office full time so it's good that we can go in and out of the office now which makes that uh, the travel time, yeah. you know, take away the travel time on some of the days, the session days, it's so helpful. Yeah. Uh, because when back in all of most of my training years, we were starting a session at six o'clock at night for in every run and not getting home from the city until like quarter to nine, yeah, and that yeah. was pre-peak. And it just wasn't, we just weren't getting any further in, in our performances because you're just tired all the time yeah. and you're never getting any recovery. So that helps yeah. having some of the days where we're working from home. Yeah. But yeah, it's logistically challenging. Yeah, yeah. Um, we work hard on the weekends as well, just to catch up right, on right. anything that we haven't quite finished. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's get into the workout. Cool, sounds good. Okay, good to go. Sweet, so we're doing out and back. Four by 1600, 1600? Yep, mm -hmm. cool. What's the recovery, sorry? 90. 90 seconds? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Here you go. Three, okay, let's two, do it. one, let's go.
It's a little bit too hard for filming. <laughs> I've learned that lesson. <laughs> I've learned that lesson more than once. <laughs> yeah, so we're uh, 516 first one, but I think we're a little bit more than 1600. I thought there was a mark. I obviously didn't listen to the no, instructions, but I guess like 510 far away, probably first two. So yeah. pretty warm. Really, I'm really happy with that. Valencia will not be this warm, I hope. <laughs> no. But. Uh, no. Halfway done. Good. Feeling pretty good, and you? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm good. Nice, nice path. Not yeah. totally flat, but not, not exactly. Yeah, good. you get those little testers. Yeah, for sure. Mm. <coughs> so I'll try and stick to about the same. Mm hmm. Thanks, too. Yeah. Hope you're happy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good, yeah. Good job. Five oh five, uh, last one. Yes. Oh. PB. Yeah. On this course. Yeah. <coughs> on this course. Yeah. 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 It is a little bit slow on the track, for sure. Oh. I thought Melbourne was supposed to be nice and cool in the mornings. Oh, I reckon. It's our first what one. What happened to that? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be hailing again this afternoon, probably. <laughs> yeah. oh, happy with that? I'm really happy. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Too easy. So your next one's Sunday long? Uh, no, I've got another 15k tempo. Okay. In between. Okay. Yeah. So Wednesday, today. I'll do it Friday. Friday. Usually I do this Tuesday, but I needed an extra rest day yeah. from last weekend. So <coughs> glad I took it because this, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. this was a great session. So yeah, nice. I think it's a good lesson to think about how Actually, you're feeling and yeah, not what happened necessarily yesterday, right? I think just... What you did yesterday was really smart. Yeah, so yesterday we went out to try to do the session and started and I just felt dreadful. Couldn't, legs couldn't go and I'd ran 40k a couple of days prior. Yeah. I think it was just, body wasn't recovered. So we just... <laughs> 200k weeks, so we might just, do that we, to you. we just called <laughs> it and it was great you are available. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I just uh, fuel up a bit more, I think probably I didn't feel up enough on the, the day after the 40 because right. we had a, um, he had a birthday party and 
and it was really fun prioritizing that but yeah um yeah i think i just didn't get enough fuel in yeah it's amazing uh, how like recover in time i reckon every marathon ball happens to me two or three times where I'll go for a workout, I'm just feeling terrible. Yeah. I'll be a little bit worried, but then the next day I'll feel completely fine. Mm. It's like 24 hours can be a big, yeah. be a big difference. It's um, really <laughs> been helpful. Yeah. And having Locke be able to, because like, he knows me so well, he knows when I kind of need to pull it, so yeah. you can give that info back to the can. Yeah, and so it's easy, we can just make those changes on the fly. Yeah. I think, yeah, having the experience is good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, because you just want to get the sessions on, so. For sure. Yeah. yeah, no, so, it's great. <laughs> really happy with that. 15k tempo is that a uh, Dix? Dix, one of the most successful coaches Australia's ever seen. I don't like. I know who Michael Shelley trained with him. I run a bit, little bit with Michael. Is he giving you like I know you said before? Like, yeah. Is he giving you a pace to hit him on what, he never Friday? Used or? To. Yeah, but he has set 323s for that. Yep. Um, and is that your target pace, or is uh, just about threshold? Or yeah, about close sort of somewhere to, in there. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I think that's like a soccer PB, you know, that's a 223 yeah. kind of range. So, um, you know, that's a sort of good pace that's not too quick and not too slow. Yeah, sure. But he's really mindful of the fact that, like with yesterday, he might set a pace and it might need, you know, the weather might be bad and you might just need to adjust it. Yeah. It's just, but get it done, set yeah. a threshold. And then things like this, he wants to hit that real 10k speed to yeah. make sure, because I haven't raced at all in this block. Right. Uh, so I, think I raced a lot in the lead up to Budapest because I'd originally not nominated for Budapest yeah, and, then, yeah. Yeah, and then did it last minute. So I had all these races lined up and I was committed to things, yeah. fun things in Queensland. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I raced a lot in the lead up to that, but this one I've just trained through the whole time. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done a park run. So okay. yeah, okay. so uh, good to hit that 10k speed again, even though we've been doing a longer stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for. Holding the camera today. Thanks for having me out. Thanks, all yeah. The best it's great in to Valencia. See you. Looking yeah. forward to the day, yeah. Yeah, we, are, yeah. we have all our reunions all over the world. It's great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> cool. No rain, but I try. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have your rain.